Alright, welcome to me fortnightly toy haul. I've got, I'm surrounded by stuff at the moment, so I'll get cracking on as fast as I can. Uh, start with the band stuff first, because uh, I know everyone loves to see what stuff I've managed to pick up for the band. It's the most popular thing I do, obviously. Uh, this is a Fisher Price. <coughs> Excuse me. For some strange reason, I seem to kind of be dying every video now. Uh, I'll switch it on. I'll only put it on uh, sort of medium volume as it's a little bit later on at night, so I don't want to kind of disturb anybody. So, but uh, you pull that down and it goes mix. Well, actually, what you do is uh, I'll start again. You you stick and you get a duck here. That goes in there, pops out there, and make noises and stuff. There's a little sun sunflower there which you can twiddle, twiddle, and it. Uh, comes down and there's a duck thing you can twang and then you have the kind of windmill bit which you press this so you get a pretty decent uh, sort of length song out of that still going uh, and inside these cuby things you've got all sorts of animals. Here's a pig with some corn. Uh, there's a cow uh, with a bell. And a little horsey who jumps over a fence. They're pretty cool, they're cute. They, uh, I've got quite a few of these I've managed to pick up. But this is the first kind of place that I got for it, which is dead good. Uh, it was marked up for 175 I managed to get it for 125 uh, So that's like... Uh, and it's it's great condition. Uh, so for the band for one pound twenty five pence, cannot complain. He loves it to death. So that was the kind of one of the first things I picked up. Uh, sticking with the the children's play toy things. When I picked that up, I also got this. Uh, and this is another farm theme thing. I guess uh, whoever traded them into the charity shop must have gone through a farm fears. Uh, and the silo or stylo, I always get it wrong, falls out there. And inside of that, there's all sorts of things. Uh, so we'll just pull that open. A lot of the stuff I got with this isn't actually what came with the set, but the stuff that came with the set is also included. So uh, it is the full set. Now, the best thing about this set is how many times can I see a set? The animals have all got kind of really cool, funky hairdos. So you've got this kind of horse going on here with these mohawk. And each animal has their own kind of place where they go in the farm. Uh, which is pictured. So that's good for people who are deaf. So the horse goes in there and you open the gate. And it makes the horse noise. So here we'll go in there. Uh, what else have I got? Alright, so you got this freaky looking cow thing which was just included in this in in with the stuff it's not actually part of the set uh, it is the Fisher Price little people stuff so that's a that's a Fisher Price little people little person uh, he kind of just maybe stands in the the barn there with a with the uh, psychotic hair bill I'll explain that later on this has kind of become more of a review of these toys than an actual toy haul but anyway I'll just carry on I uh, came with a little woman with a bag of eggs, basket of eggs, a pig, who's all dirty, as pigs usually are, and oi, oi, oi. he says, oi, 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 get up, all in. And then a little, little, little farm boy. Uh, I think these are kind of either Happy Land or Happy Land-esque sort of um, contrabandy type uh, bootleggy stuff, I could be wrong, but that's kind of, oh, the sheep with his little afro, uh, how cool is that? So he goes uh, in there, unfortunately there's no picture to see, he goes in there, but I believe the, this is like the second incarnation of this set, the original, the goat went there, uh, the original set didn't have them with hair, <coughs> and he does the me. Uh, I did come with another sheepy thing, which again I think that's some sort of happy land kind of sheep. And there is also a cow which has a kind of, um, kind of I guess a beetle's haircut. So he goes in the, the 
cow door. So there you go. So that's all the bits I got and a bit of fence as well. Uh, and that was £1.50. Uh, I'll show you the psychotic here, Bill, uh, because when you move the rooster, it cocks. Is that right? Crows. Crows. Uh, the rooster crows. Mm, okay. Uh, and then the hair bale here uh, obviously slides along with it, so he runs along here, plays this song, and boots the farmer down the. Uh, I'll do it again because it didn't work very well. And he goes flying off the roof into the pig poo. So there you go, that, that was £1.50, so that was pretty cool. Uh, so that was kind of, I think, pretty much everything I got for the band. Uh, this fortnight, but I did get some other pretty cool stuff. Uh, I managed to pick up uh, here's Centipede. If any of you retro gamers out there recognize that's from the Atari 2600. Also, we got Sprint Master for the Atari. Also, we got Space Invaders. Uh, these are like in their original boxes and stuff too, which is pretty cool. And I also got an Atari. This is the Atari 2600 Junior, uh, and it's in really, really nice condition. Uh, so, pretty chuffed with that. So, I'm sure all you retro gamer fans out there will be going, Bloody hell, he's doing well there, getting one of them in the box. Uh, like I said, this, this Fortnite's been a, a mad one, it's been an absolute total mixed bag of stuff I've found, like, so, uh, you know, kind of, ma blah, blah, found a Nerf gun, uh, which is the tag, Nerf tag system, whatever it is, dart tag, so that, that'll go into me Nerf collection, if you've seen me Nerf collection video, which if you haven't, watch it, uh, and then you'll see all of the Nerf guns I've got, and here's the other one to go with it. They were like a couple of quid each, so nice uh, addition to the Nerf, the Nerf collection. Right, stand it that way, just because if I don't, all of the things will fall out of the box. Uh, here is Skyway. It's the RevOps Hot Wheels set. Uh, this was one pound fifty, and it is entirely complete and working order and everything so uh, over the moon with that uh, unfortunately they don't seem to kind of sell rev ups anymore so uh, I only have the one car that came with the set but you know for one pound fifty it was it was worth picking up just just because it was there mainly uh, right so more charity shop finds Picked up some of the replica title belt, me thingy jigs. Uh, this is the old style. I think it originally was the unified world title. No, <laughs> clearly not. Since so it says tag team, <laughs> uh, this is the tag team championship. Uh, clearly, um, and it was one fifty nine. So there's that one. Uh, this was what I was thought I was talking about. This was the I think originally the the unified world title but then just became the world title which I think then this one became the, the spinny title. They did have the spinny title there uh, but it was like pretty badly like all these bits were kind of half ripped off and the straps were all kind of bit and chewed and stuff so I just I thought no I'll wait till I get a good one in good nick but again that was 159 as well and they had this one which I was well chuffed to find this in. Uh, this is the John Cena spinny uh, US title um, this was the, the precursor to the world spinny title. Uh, personally, I just think it's a really nice looking belt. Very, uh, kind of, I like the silver instead of the golden thing. So, you know, it's just, it's pretty cool. And this one also was 159 But I only got charged for two. So, kind of, this was me freebie, I guess. Uh, so, even better a deal than I kind of originally thought. I uh, found a street shark. Uh, I did say this a few days previously to picking it up, but one of its arms was missing, so I thought, well, I'm not picking up a one-armed street shark. Um, you know, 
but uh, managed to find the arm at a later date uh, and then kind of stuck it on him and, and bought him and he was 50p which it says there on his uh, his uh, shark bits or oh, I'll show you some other uh, bits I've picked up and then I'll move on to my shop bought stuff so uh, here is Kevin Thorne he's the deluxe version so he has the ab crunch thing uh, not necessarily a fan of Kevin Thorne but he kind of had a pretty interesting look and I'm surprised with the kind of popularity of Twilight and things like that he kind of you know they haven't brought him back uh, unless he's dead um, which I, I'm unaware of of this current recording uh, so yeah he was like he was 99 pence 99 pence Talk and company there, mate. Uh, they did have a few other ones. I think there was like Ultimo Dragon, which I nearly kind of picked up, but uh, I kind of just thought I'll stick with Kevin Thorne. Picked up a nice Venom there. He has uh, an interesting kind of uh, doesn't quite show up here because of the colours, but uh, he kind of has like this green slimy stuff and a green tongue coming out of his mouth. But the way it's kind of been painted. It makes his front two teeth look kind of very book teethed, uh, kind of, which is quite a funny look for him. Uh, and he was seventy nine pence, so I kind of thought, yeah, um, I like me Marvel stuff. I'll, I'll have another Venom. Why not? I don't have that one. And here's Ariel, looking rather, rather nice there. Go and get hello, high five, you. Uh, she's really pretty heavy. Uh, kind of, uh, so looking for. What's the word I'm looking for? Clearly not, uh, uh, mm, uh, that wasn't the word I was looking for. Um, resiny, yes, that's the word I was looking for. She's quite resiny feeling. So she, you know, you, give a, you could give a, you could give somebody quite a nasty uh, flipper whip with this uh, chick. So she'll go with me Disney collection stuff, so it's all good, it's all good. Uh, moving on to some 20 pence stuff. Uh, you know me, I like me Hot Wheels, uh, and I'll pick them up when I say them for about 20 pence or something. So, but a pretty interesting few bits. This is like a motorcycle, which is kind of half helmet, half bike. Uh, I don't know what it's off. I guess some... It's not really focusing very well either. Hmm. Oh dear. There we go. Uh, yep, so there's like a... The bike helmet thing, whatever it is. Mutant, Teenage Mutant Ninja Bike. This one, which is really cool, because uh, it has a switch on the bottom there, and you switch it, obviously, otherwise it would be called a button. And uh, look at that! It all lights up, which is really awesome. Uh, there was a bike, which I don't know if this is Hot Wheels or not, probably not, since I can't see anything on it. Uh, and a steam rollery thing. And this is like a pretty cool looking die custy slightly chipped bits but you know for 20 pence it's, it's just it'll it'll go in with the rest of me die custy stuff and you know you cannot not have a steamroller can you so i'll move those to one side moving on uh, there was still quite a lot of stuff to come by the way so if you need to take a toilet break feel free to go to the toilet right i found out it was a box of star wars stuff uh, which you don't tend to see much Star Wars stuff showing up very often, so when you do, it's worth picking it up. A lot of the stuff that was in the box I already kind of had, which was a shame because they were only charging 20 pence each per figure. Uh, so I picked up the stuff I didn't have, or was the better stuff that was in there. And here is Captain Pancake, or Panaka, or whatever he's called. For some strange reason, my camera wants to show off the grain of the wood. Of the door so uh, I hope you're appreciating the the quality of that rather than actually being able to see Captain Pancake's face right so that's Captain Pancake you've also got um, what's he called uh, the, the Emperor or he's uh, called something else before he's called the Emperor uh, and unfortunately that name is not anywhere near being remembered by me at all uh, nah, totally not there. I'll put them to one side, and if it comes back, I mean, you'll know, because obviously you probably know more about Star Wars than I clearly do right now. 
and you'll be screaming at the monitor or telly or whatever you're watching this on saying it's so and so, it's what's his face, but you can't remember. Uh, here's Padme, uh, or this is Padme? Armadala, no, it's uh, Queen Armadala uh, in her kind of runabout action-y clothes. Here is uh, Princess Leia in her Endor riding a speeder bike uh, clothes. There you go. Here is Anakin Skywalker with a lightsaber that's attached to his hand that you can't move in his I'm going to go and slay some younglings uh, attire because I believe this was when he was classed as Darth Vader even though like really uh, go and chop his head off it's um uh, what's he called man Palpatine there you go thingy Palpatine that'll do and this one's my favourite it's Chewbacca not my favourite character, but just favourite figure out the ones I picked up. Uh, he's like, Right, so that was the... Oh no, there's something else to show you. Finally, the final thing I got from the charity shops, and this has gone like way over my time probably, so this won't be able to go on YouTube. I don't know if my account can do videos more than 15 minutes, by the way. Uh, I picked up another doll for some reason. Well, not for some reason. I picked it up because it did. Uh, it's quite an interesting looking thing. Uh, it's kind of a Barbie doll thing. Uh, I, well, I don't know if it's Barbie, but it, it is uh, like Mattel. So I'm assuming it's a character from Barbie. Although 99 million percent of the characters are just Barbie. If that makes any sense. Uh, the reason why I picked it up is just because it looked really weird with the kind of see-through transparency kind of sparkly stuff. But it also does this, lights up and stuff, so uh, I've never seen a thing do this type of thing before, so I thought I'm picking that up. I mean, that, you know, it'll just go in a box somewhere and, and you know, but it's just totally random uh, and it has a tattoo on its face as well, so, you know, and really odd, kind of, like, I don't know, why is it not working? Focus. 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 No, it's not going to show you, but it has, like, weird kind of paint things under its eyes, which look a bit odd. Uh, so it's it's just, it's an odd figury toy doll thing, which I thought, ah, I'll just get it, you know, why not? It was only a quid. Right, so that's the kind of charity shop side of this. I um, think what I'll probably do now is I'll stop this and I'll do another video of my shop ball stuff. So thanks for tuning in and uh, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.